at that. Look at that. Let me put it over here. Look at that. Look at that. Hi, guys. It's me, Shantae, and welcome back to another episode of Shake It Up with Shantae. If you've been here before, as always, welcome back. And if this is your very first time tuning in, welcome, welcome, welcome. And thank you guys so, so much. Let me just start off first by saying welcome all of my new subscribers. If it wasn't for you all, I wouldn't be where I am today. And today, I want to say made me, uh, put me at a little bit over 5,000 subscribers. Yay! It took me a minute to get here, but nonetheless, I'm here. And I'm here because of you all. So thank you guys so, 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 so very much. I really appreciate it. Today, I'm going to be making a baked seafood fettuccine. Without further ado, let's shake something up. All right, so the main thing we're going to need here today, of course, is your fettuccine. Fettuccine noodles, any brand, it doesn't matter. I have some cream cheese, some butter, a little bit of flour. I have some claw crab meat, wild caught claw crab meat. Now, you can use any kind of crab meat you like. If you want to use imitation, if you want to use the lump crab meat, um, whatever crab meat you want to use, that's fine with me. Use it. I have some jumbo shrimp, all of my seasonings, which is some Italian seeds, some onion powder, garlic powder, parsley, black pepper, minced garlic. Um, I have some Cajun spice, and I have a little bit of salt back there. I'm going to be using some mozzarella and some mild cheddar cheese. I have some whole milk and some half and half. So the first thing first I'm going to do is turn my water on for my fettuccine and get that to boiling. All right, I'm gonna, I don't know if y'all do this, but I do it all the time. I add a little salt and a little oil to my pasta water. People say you don't have to do that, but for some reason, I believe you have to do that. Long story short, y'all, while this is going, I'm just gonna put a little oil in there. I took a much needed break from you guys because I felt like my channel needed to just, um, Grow on its own a little bit. Um, I miss y'all so, so much. I miss doing this. I miss being here. But nonetheless, I've been so, so busy as well. If you don't know, I have a second channel, um, Furniture Flipping Queen. If you like to see furniture flips, because I do paint furniture. I have mentioned that before. Um, I'll leave that link down in the description box for you guys who, who just want to see a furniture flip. So I've been doing that as well as working um a full-time job so just here recently just here recently i resigned from my full-time job to flip furniture full-time that's my job that's my passion that's what i love to do i love to paint furniture so you can either go there to my other youtube channel or you can go to my instagram at furniture flipping queen and watch some of my before and after pictures but um, I also love to cook. I love to cook. I have not stopped cooking. I just have not made a video for you guys in a while because, like I said, I felt the channel needed to grow on its own. And it has been growing so, so much because of you guys. So I want to thank y'all again. I just had to take that little moment to tell y'all it's been a long five months. I know. I think it has been five months. But um, just here today or somewhat yesterday, um, I have about 5,000 or so subscribers and like I said I couldn't I wouldn't be here and I wouldn't have those numbers without you guys but we're gonna keep growing I hope to get to 10,000 within the next six months that will be whoo that will be tremendous so if you haven't done so already and you're watching me right now go ahead and hit that subscribe button it's free it does not cost a thing thumbs up this video and don't forget to turn that notification bell on when you do do the notification bell you have to go to you have to click on the notification bell and then you have to click on for all videos so every time i upload a video here on shake it up with shantae you guys will not miss a beat so let's just finish this meal real quick all right y'all now that my water is boiling and i always wait till my water boils start boiling before i put my pasta in it. I'm going to break these in half because I am baking this in the oven. So I have a little 12 ounce box, but I'm not, I'm, I'm only going to cook about half of them. Because this stuff makes a lot, y'all. It makes a lot. So I'm only going to cook about half the box. And, um, and I'm going to go ahead and turn this skillet on here to make my, um, 
sauce. So I'm gonna take half a stick of this butter. You can use any butter you like for this. I'm not baking anything, so I'm gonna use, I'll use the whole stick. I'm gonna go ahead and use the whole stick, y'all. Use the whole stick of butter. I'm gonna get this to melting. All right, I have my butter in here, y'all. I'm gonna take about two tablespoons of flour and add, add it to this. If you want it to, um, this is how you make a roux, y'all. If you never knew how to make a roux, this is how you make a roux. It's, it's much drier than this, but I like to do mine this way for my um, sauce that I'm making for this. I like it to be a little bit buttery, a little bit wet. Let me put another half a teaspoon or so in there. Now your sauce is gonna cook really, really quickly, so you have to turn it down on low. Now I'm gonna take me some half and half. And this is a pint size half and half. You can use this or you can use heavy cream, whichever you like. I'm gonna use this half and half. I think earlier I might have told y'all this was heavy cream, but it's actually half and half. And you can use heavy whipping cream. You can use heavy whipping cream. All right, so we're gonna let that heat up for a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasonings to this. I'm gonna add some um, garlic powder. I'm adding about a tablespoon each, y'all. Onion powder. All of these seasonings are substitutable. Um, whatever you like, whatever you like to taste, that's what you put in yours. I use what I have. Okay. Go ahead and add some regular whole milk in here. Woo. Add about a half a cup. All right, I have this on low, and we're just gonna let this simmer for about five to 10 minutes maybe 10 before I add the cheese and all of that good stuff. Okay. All right, y'all, my fettuccine noodles are done over there. Um, they just sitting there for right now because everything else is gonna go kind of fast. So I like to take my, um, take me some melted butter and a little bit of minced garlic. I just like to toss my shrimp and my, um, my shrimp and my crab meat in a separate pan before I add it to my pasta and my sauce. So I just added a tablespoon of mixed garlic, two tablespoons of butter, and then I'm gonna go ahead and toss in my shrimp. Y'all know these are not gonna take long to cook at all. And the crab meat is already done. Um. That crab meat, I want to say, that comes in that little container, costs about $15, y'all. And I'm not going to cut my um, shrimp up. You can if you like, if you want to cut it up. But I'm not going to cut mine up. I'm not going to chop it up. I'm going to leave them whole, just like that. So I just want to let me get this a stir. Y'all see I got my sauce back here simmering. Smells so good. Looks so divine. And I'm gonna take me some Cajun spice. And that's why I didn't add any salt to this because I know the Cajun spice has salt in it already. And I don't want it to be 
salty at all. I'm gonna let these cook for a second. And then these only take about three or four minutes to cook. You can do whatever you want to do um, as far as seasoning goes. Like I said, if you want to do Old Bay, you can. If you want to chop up use some onions, you can put it in here. I just try to make things as simple as possible. Stuff that I know people have on hand, you know, I try to make it as simple as possible so you don't have to run out to the store. And it's football season, y'all. Who want to be going to the store at the last minute? We want to sit down and watch football as soon as we can. So... We're going to try to hurry up and get these meals done, especially on Sundays and Thursday nights and Monday night football time, you know? So these shrimp does not take long at all. And you can get you some garlic bread, honey, to go with this. Or some um, cheese sticks. You want to make them, you can. Or uh, you can get them store-bought, honey. You get them frozen store-bought. They all taste good once you put them in the oven and add you some butter, honey. They all gonna taste good. We trying to make this quick and simple, honey. Y'all know it's fall time. I have quite a few videos that will be coming out soon. So make sure y'all stay tuned and keep that notification bell on. If y'all have not done so already, go and watch my um squash casserole video trust me you will not be disappointed if you want to go ahead and watch my sweet potato dump cake video you will not be disappointed um if you want to watch my broccoli and cheddar soup video you will not be disappointed this is the time of year this is the time of the year that all of that stuff sounds good and tastes good and we're not gonna worry about the pounds right now we're not going to worry about the calories right now. We worry about that for next summer. So we worry about that after the New Year's. But right now, it's time to eat. It's eating season, okay? So my shrimp is pretty much done. I'm going to go ahead and take my crab meat. And I'm just going to dump this right into this. I'm just going to dump that crab meat right in there with those shrimp. Oh my goodness, y'all ought to smell this. Y'all have to smell this. Okay. Even though that crab meat is already done, I like to toss it around in that butter and that garlic and that Cajun seasoning along with those shrimp just to give it a quick toss because it's already done, y'all. It is already done. But I like to heat it up and give it a quick toss. Oh, if y'all could smell this. If y'all could smell this, honey. Mm-mm-mm. Child. We're going to let that sit for like two minutes. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off because I don't want it to get um too tough. Too tough. Now, if you cook shrimp too long, it'll get rubbery and tough on you. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and add my cheese to my sauce over here. I'm going to add about a half a cup of mild cheddar. And then I'm going to add a half a cup of mozzarella. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all. Y'all. Y'all, look at that. Look at that, y'all. Ooh, look at that sauce. Look at that sauce, baby. Let me get a spatula. Hold on one second. Already drained my pasta, y'all. My fettuccine, I'm gonna dump it right in there. Dump it right in there. Okay, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a bit of a toss in there. Ooh, y'all, look at that. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Ooh, woo. Mm, 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 mm. Now, you can just eat this like this, y'all. But I'm going to bake mine in the oven 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and transfer this to this pan and add my um, seafood. 
All right, so y'all, I'm gonna add mine. Now you can mix this together if you want to, but I don't wanna do mine that way. So I'm gonna add my seafood to my pan first, to my baking dish. Get all of that, okay? And then I'm gonna add my pasta. Let me get a towel, cause this, this pan is hot. Okay, and I'm gonna add this right to this. Okay, just like so. Get all of that cheese out of there. All of that sauce, okay? I'm gonna stick that there. Now I'm gonna get my grab and tongs and I'm gonna kind of toss this around just a little bit. Just to mix that seafood juice up in there. And I wanna make sure every bite has some seafood in it. Okay. And that's pretty much it, you guys. I'm gonna to top this with some cheese and then I'm gonna put it in my oven, which is already preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna add me a little bit of, a little bit of cheddar. A little bit of mozzarella to the top. I'm gonna add me some parsley, honey. Of course, gotta add some parsley. This is a really simple, quick, and easy seafood meal. And I'm gonna add some smoked paprika to this. And in the oven it go on 350 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. I'll see you guys when we come out of the oven. All right, y'all. It has been about 20 minutes, y'all, and look at that. Look at that. Let me put it over here. Look at that. Look at that goodness. Honey, if y'all could smell the seafood around here. Woo, when I tell y'all, this thing smells too good. Too good, honey. We got to let this cool down for a minute before I can even dive into it. But you see the cheese. I see the big shrimp sticking out. Oh my goodness, it just, we are gonna let this cool down a minute y'all cause I can't be biting into that as bad as I want to. We gonna wait, we gonna get that a few minutes to cool down, okay. All right y'all, so it done cooled down. I done gave it a good like five, six, seven minutes. I can not wait no longer now. I'm ready to dive in this honey. Ooh, look at that, oh my goodness. Oh my Jesus. Mm, 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 y'all. Lord, look at them shrimp. Oh my goodness. That's all I'm gonna get, y'all. That's all I'm gonna get. All right, y'all. Ooh, look at that. I'm so excited, y'all. I'm so excited. Mm, 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 mm. Please, Lord, don't let it be too hot because I need to taste this. Let me get a shrimp. Look at that shrimp, look at that. Oh my goodness, y'all. Oh, Jesus. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, y'all. When I tell y'all, this right here is so dang I'm good. I mean, this is so good. I'm going to tell y'all something I left out of him <laughs> that I wasn't even going to say nothing about. I forgot to put my cream cheese. I didn't think about it until I was putting up all the stuff and I was like, dang, I forgot to put my cream cheese. But that's okay. It's still good. It's still good, y'all. But the cream cheese, you want to add it 
when you get ready to add your, your other cheeses. When you, after you add your um, milk and all that stuff and it heat up, you want to put your cream cheese in there first, let that melt down, and then you want to put your other cheeses in there. I forgot the cream cheese part, but that's okay. Mm. Honey. This is too good. Mm. This is too good. When I tell y'all. Mm. 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 Get you some nice, good old buttery cheese and garlic bread, a little side salad. Have your meal, honey. Mm. This is good. But trust me, with that cream cheese, it's even better. Look, listen, y'all. It's that time of the video. Well, I gotta wrap it up because I gotta finish eating this deliciousness over here. Again, thank y'all for the 5,000 subscribers. I can't say that enough, but I wanna be at 10 by six more months. And I know some of y'all watching and y'all haven't subscribed. Please go ahead and subscribe if you have not done so. I wanna thank y'all again from the bottom of my heart. And until that next video, I'll see y'all then. Bye y'all.